Hello, geeks and gamers, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. In the last episode, we joined forces with uh, Sigurd and uh, one of the assassins um, to go and raid one of Kyotve's uh, nearby towns, villages, encampments, that's the word I'm looking for, encampment, after he had sent some assassins to ours. Um, after we had successfully uh, orchestrated the raid, and uh, I died one time, but we, that's neither here nor there. After we uh, successfully did the raid, we met with King Harold, who uh, has a deal with our king to help us take down Kyotve. Um, and of course, we saw his uncle here uh, very briefly in a couple of episodes ago. So, um, for now, uh, last episode, at the end of last episode, we did, oh, I can upgrade, I can upgrade this, let's do that, um, shit, I didn't want to fully go out of it, um, we did level up, so let's, let's use my points here, um, what is past this, stealth recon, okay, headshot damage, that's, that's actually quite nice. Um, some more stealth. Ooh, light attack damage. Um, I really need to, like, look into and play with some of these. Um, like, really look into the skill tree. What is this? Some more range damage. What is that? Light attack. There we go. That's nice. Of course, I can just reset all skills, it looks like, at any time. Um, quests, so right now we still only have the main quest line, no real side quests have popped up yet. Let's, uh, let's head up there though, let's go knock that out, um, get that as a fast travel location, and what is, what is this? I don't know what that is. Um, maybe like just a point of interest sort of thing. So let's go. Let's go do that. And then we'll come back down here to talk to uh, whatever his name is, the the uncle there. Oh God, that's it's actually a pretty sizable distance. Did not realize, but oh well. Well, don't mind me, just. <laughs> The spider manning across the side of this mountain. Oh, my ankles. We're good. We're all right. All good here. Um, I will, at some point, call for my long ship. It's not going to come to me here. So. Uh, but for now, I would like to... How do I whistle for my horsey? There we are. Get my horse over here. Hey, buddy. Hey, no, come here. We ride. Oh, all right. You can't jump over small mountains. Got it. Small mountains, small ledges, cliffs, bluffs. Can you scale the side of a mountain like you're a freaking horse in... No. No, the answer is no. He does not have Skyrim level horsepower. Come on. Oh, I know you can do it, buddy. You can, you, you got it. Get up there. There he goes. Hell yeah. He does have Skyrim level horsey powers. Um, you know what? Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and take it from here. Thank you. Thank you for the assistance. My a dear horsey friend. Up we pop. Clamber on, clamber on. There we go. Ugh. Such a distance. And then I'm going to have to go all the way back. Mm 
Also, so far, I don't know, I, I hate to keep comparing it to Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but I just really liked how Odyssey, like, even the, the map layout was, you know? That, like, I could look at the map and tell, like, oh, there's shit right here I can go explore, you know? I, I Like, I really hope that this isn't... That they haven't done away with some of the exploration-ness of this, you know? Otherwise, it's gonna be a pretty quick game. <laughs> Well, I mean, relatively speaking, the uh, storyline could still take, you know, a few dozen hours, but still. Odyssey had. And I still haven't beaten it. Uh, I'll get around to it, I just haven't done it yet. Um. There we go. I would really like the ability, maybe I get it somewhere in the skill tree, but to just yeet my axe at somebody, you know? Just, just throw it right in their face, go over there and pick it out of their skull. So much cool shit that they could do. You know what I also, I could be using my birdie here. I just don't think he's going to show me much. What is that? Okay. I don't know what just happened there, but sure. You, we just done climbing. We, we decided, nah. Come on. There we go. Wow. <laughs> My god. This is ridiculous. I'm now kind of regretting doing this, honestly. Like, I, I, I feel like, yes, I could take my time a bit with this playthrough. Um, you know? Because there's, there's nothing too much on the horizon. Yes, as soon as I get a PS5, I would like to start doing Demon Souls um, and Miles Morales. Um, especially now that uh, RE, uh, RE8 Village has been like fully announced for a May release, which, holy shit. Um, don't know if you guys saw that, that second trailer, uh, but that is definitely a playthrough that's going to happen for the channel. And I, I quite look forward to it. Hello, random bird on top of this mountain. Uh, my wife doesn't look forward to it. She she kind of watched me play RE7 vaguely. Like, she was in the room while I was playing it. And she was like, you know, whenever I did Resident Evil 3 for the channel, she was like, oh, that's, you know, it's, it's, a horror, it's a horror game. That's fine. It's whatever, but it's in third person. She's like, she said, you know, the, the, um, the nature of Resident Evil 7 being first person with this creepy little girl character, just it really did not vibe well with her. And she did not appreciate it at all. Uh, do I want to, like, swan dive my ass and then climb up that side of the mountain? Just straight on up? Um, it's either that or I very slowly make my way down. Fuck it! Hell yeah. I discovered something. I discovered some cold ass water. Cast about this land, my friend. Yeah, I just don't I don't see jack shit, you know? I really liked the bird in Odyssey. And the things that it could do. So I guess we're just going to clamber straight on up here. It's going to take a while, so, uh, you know. But no, as I was saying, you know, yes, there are some, some playthroughs that as soon as I get a PS5, I would like to start working on. Um, Demon Souls being at the top of the list. It, you know, Miles Morales, I do want to play for the channel. But that would be one that I would, I would sacrifice. 
um, playing through the channel and just do a, my own let's play of it, or my own personal playthrough rather. Um, depending on how quick I can get a hold of a PS5, um, you know, I've got I've got the money set aside. I've got I, I'm ready. Just still haven't been able to get one. Um, but Demon Souls is definitely going to be a let's play that happens for the channel. Um, and then RE8. Like I said, Miles Morales could be something that if, if, if it's still um, quite a bit of time before I get a hold of a PS5 that just, just might do a personal playthrough so that way I can immediately jump into RE8. Um, all that being said, my very long-windedness, uh, you guys know how I am, um, I don't know, I might, I might just start just doing story for this, you know, kind of what I initially intended, but then um, I started backtracking in my mind, so I'm like, eh, you know what, I'm not getting a PS5 anytime soon, so might as well. Um, but now I'm kind of going back to that, like, no, let's not do too much exploration, let's just, let's do the story, some side quests as they pop up, uh, and after, uh, freaking, like, almost ten minutes now of, of getting over to this point, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go back to that, I think I'm gonna go back to that, especially since there's not a lot to explore, so it's not very exciting, it's just you guys listening to me babble while I try to make it over here, and Jesus Christ, I finally did. Yeah, synchronized. God damn. Well, now, of course, I gotta go all the way back. Can I teleport to my ship? I know that was something I was, like, capable of doing in, in Odyssey, just teleporting straight on back. Yes! Oh, thank you. What are these glowy lights? I don't know what those glowy lights mean. Huh. Okay, so, let's just teleport back to the ship. <laughs> Um, I know there's, you know, some other games that are slated to come out this year, too, that probably won't be until summer. You know, usually peak time for a video game release is, like, summer and, and fall, you know? Um, so we'll, we'll see. No, I, I just wanted to teleport back. I didn't want to take command. Jesus. Up, 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 up. So, can I not talk to him? He's just here cleaning his axe. Okay. Yo, Sigurd, where you at, bro? He's up, uh, up there. Okay. I talk to you guys. No, no interesting dialogue for me. That's rude. Hello. Eivor, you missed the opening act. Oh, wait a second. Weren't you just out there cleaning your axe? Melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Why are you yelling? Maybe You're like half a foot away from him. challenge to Kyotre at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is, is this what you want? Yeah, sure, why not? They rub my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kyrtvis should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Yeah, 
Yeah. What's in Kyotve? Cut short the court of Kyotve's fate. Well said, my sharp tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga song. Eivor, a word. Basim, Hytham. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kyotve's order for centuries. Oh, Jesus Christ, he's a Templar. <laughs> you came from Miklagard to kill Kyotve yourself. We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kyotve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone, but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Python, I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones, but Chatve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Chatve dies this day. On that, we are agreed. I just feel like it's not going to be that easy. I feel like he's going to have one of the uh, one of the pieces. He's going to do something with it. You know, one of the one of the whatever god pieces, the artifacts. We just jumped straight to it, huh? Seeger is only here to watch me feed your rennets to my raven. Look at this! Once again, Abel Wolf just appears to take a swipe at me! Look at you with your fucking dual wielding this, fucking axes, man. This is my father's chain. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call a home game! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! I will make you beg as your father begged wolf kiss. Squeal as your mother squealed. You, you're not gonna use those axes, my guy? I mean, weird flex, but alright, man. Whoa! You are weird that your father was weak. Oh! If I'm meant to defeat him here, cause god damn, he does a lot of damage. And it's that, yeah. Nah, I don't think I was meant to defeat him here. I mean, I probably can, but. Oh, hi there, Odin. What just happened? We are not alone, Chuckbe. The old father watches. Yeah, get your axes. My blade will drink your blood. Your flesh will feed my wolves. What you swinging at, man? Ow! It just need the fuck out of me. Okay. 
Fuck you and that flying knee. Oh, oh god. Sir, sir. Oh. <laughs> No. I thought. He tried. The shameful trick will just give all your father's son. Sir, I'm gonna need you to stop floating. Do not throw that body at me. He just beat me. Oh god. <laughs> uh, you ever beat a motherfucker with another motherfucker? <sighs> See, I thought I could parry. Maybe I'm not getting the uh, the uh, timing correct with it. So I thought I could parry. You know. Okay, good. Shit. Oh, but I gotta break his guard again. Fuck me. Got you that time, bitch. Oh, his spear going near. Is it actually Odin, though? But I feel like it's not actually Odin. It's, uh, you know, just one of the one of the ancient people. Disgusting. Thank you. What is it? Ravenclad! Your lives are forfeit! Come forward if you must! 
into the crucible of your doom. Uh, you know I just killed your leader, right? Your father is dead, Gore. His debts repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, wolf kissed. Archers, take aim. Ravens, show no mercy. Um, all right, before we get involved in that, uh, this is probably a good place to go ahead and wrap up this episode. Uh, you know, we, we, uh, it, it started off slow as hell, but we accomplished some good stuff right there at the end. So if you did enjoy watching me, uh, fight, um, uh, the, the guy who I felt like was going to be the final, like, the main boss of this, apparently not, um, and, and defeating him, then it's always be sure to do those things that we YouTubers ask you to do. And until next time, game on.